So in today's masterclass, we're going to be taking a look at investing versus trading. And what does that mean? Well, really the differences between investing and trading really come down to certain categories. And we're going to look at each of those, of those categories. Um, primarily, it's going to be around time frame. It's really going to be around time frame. But we're also going to look at the flexibility, the difference between flexibility between investing and trading. We're also going to take a look at the returns, the potential returns between investing and trading. And then finally, leverage. So let's start off with looking at time frame. This is going to be the critical difference between investing and trading. The goals are the same, to profit, to make money, to, to, to earn dollars. Okay, So that's the underlying thing between both investing and trading. But it's how we go about that is the difference. So we're very much so with investing, what we're looking for is a longer time frame. And I'm going to use just as a benchmark in here on that longer time frame, three months. I think anything over three months is really talking about investing as opposed to trading. I mean, you may say it's four months, five months, six months, but on those kind of longer term time horizons, certainly multiple months, going out to multiple years and multiple decades even, that's certainly looking at investing. And then when we go and turn our attention to trading really though, it's very much a short time frame. If we look here on um, a weekly chart on the ASX 200, you can see in here the market moving up through to 2011 and um, through 2010, 11, 12, and then even higher, a strong rally up through 2000. 2015 and then a setback and then another rally 2016 into 2018. That bullish theme in here um, is very much if you're going to trade for that kind of time frame over multiple months, multiple years, then that will be very much classed as investing. And usually that's from a long only. That, are you buying whichever asset class in this is going to be um, trading the index, um, but then very much looking at a longer term time frame. And we'll look at different asset classes in, in, in one of our other um, masterclasses that we have um, um, on the uh, on the uh, series here. Um, so time frame is really important. Longer time frame, really mu very much investing. Let's now take a look at trading. So trading is definitely shorter time frames, and we're going to say that's under three months. And within th within the trading bracket, we can break it down even further with time frames. Position and swing trading. That's very much when we're looking at multiple days to multiple weeks. So a shorter term than very much we're looking at on the investing side. And here we're looking now at a daily ASX 200. You can see these various arrows in here showing the various swings in the market. So a swing trader or position trader would look to benefit from the various moves, maybe over days, weeks, and even maybe over months, but certainly not looking at that traditional buy and hold kind of theme that we have when we take a look more at investing. Let's now take a look at day trading. So it's even a, a shorter time frame. This is normally in trading in and out within the day. Very, very often done by pro pro professional day traders, um, but also retail traders do often engage in day trading. So in here we see um, maybe on a one hour chart now, we're zooming right in on the ASX 200, and it's taking these smaller swings through the day, just shorter term moves that maybe only last for a day or so. That's very much what we see with respect to day trading. Finally, we're going to look at a couple of others that are kind of outside the remit of really retail investors. But we've got scalping, which is in very, very, very short term, looking to take very small movements from the market in here, minutes possibly longer, but usually very, very short term moves. And then we have ultra high frequency trading. This is usually done as programmatic, systematic or algorithmic trading, usually done by a computer, okay, so by running a program. Well, next we're going to look at the next category in here between investing and trading is flexibility, directional flexibility, long only versus long or short. Traditionally with investing, we're very much looking at a long only, i.e. buying an asset and holding it. Okay. With trading, we're very much looking at the differences between buying and selling. Okay. So both be being long the market and short the market. And again, we'll have another masterclass talking about long, short and buy and sell bulls and bears. We're next going to move on now to talk about returns. So returns from investing are tra traditionally both from capital growth and or from income. So we get both the return from the gain that we made, maybe buying a stock and selling it at a higher price, but also the income that may come from that, maybe say from a dividend. With trading, it's traditionally more just from the capital growth. We're not looking for an income from trading. We're looking more from um, buying at a lower price, selling at a higher price, selling at a higher price and buying at a lower price. Next subject we're going to take a look at is leverage. I'm not going to go into detail again, another masterclass coming up on leverage that you can take a look at. But usually with investing, we're kind of times one leverage. So go and look at that other masterclass. But what it means is in here, you're fully invested. Okay, so there's that means the risk 
is um, um, often um, less, but then the rewards are less. With trading, we often, not always, but we can often be in a more of a leveraged posi position, okay? So we're taking more risk on both, on board, larger potential rewards, but obviously larger potential losses with that more risk from trading with leverage. This has been a masterclass on investing and versus trading, where we've looked at both time frame, flexibility, returns, and leverage to differentiate those differences. This has been Steve Miley for The Bull, and please do join us again on thebull.com.au and thebull.asia. Stay bullish.